Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a quick video where I want to talk about a little bit of what we are to expect in Fall Creators Update. I thought that it would be fun to have a little sneak peek for those that wonder what will the next version of Windows be like in September. So um, I'm using the insider preview I have here to show some of the features that have actually popped up that we know about. So first, there's the My People Experience, which is kind of interesting. So the People Experience is really the um, one of the center pieces that uh, we can expect in the future. Uh, we know a little more thanks to some of the new features popping up. So My People is basically bringing your computer to a center point of um, social side with your friends and we're not talking about Facebook things here we're talking about just being social through email through messaging through Skype through Facebook through Twitter through whatever this connects everything everywhere and basically gives you an easy access to contact so that my people uh, thing here you can actually pinpoint you see here I can pin contacts to my taskbar and it's fantastically cool because it works well. Now, one of the interesting things uh, with my people experience and that probably, you know, I, I'm, I'm not that kind of guy that thinks this is so fantastic social thing, but I have to say one of the things that actually started making me look into it a little more is how easy it will be to, f to actually share with this. So for example, one of the features that they added in the last build was possibility to take files from the in your file explorer and just slide them on your icons of your your pinned contacts with the my people experience and they'll get it so that's i think the easiest way ever to uh, share files interesting things also coming is the uh, project fluent uh, or the fluent design language uh, which was project neon before it's now the fluent design language and basically, it's um, bringing this, not just transparencies, it's bringing basically an all new experience with Microsoft, um, you know, the, the, the Windows, the different look. A lot of people are saying, oh, well, they're bringing back, you know, Vista, uh, Aero Glass effects. No, this is totally different. It does have some similar similarities, but it's not. Uh, it has, you know, uh, as, as you see here, look at my mouse pointer approaching. It's on number eight right now, and it's approaching a corner. And look how the corners have actually um, s sized up, showing that, you know, something is happening here. They are doing all sorts of lighting effect, but the, the, this part is the acrylic, ver the, what we call acrylic. Uh, but there's way, way more happening. And, you know, every app will have transparencies effect. We've seen it now in the store. We've seen it about everywhere. So these are interesting things. And you know what? The Fluent Design Language is something I am excited about as it will actually change Windows over time. We now know that the Fluent Design Language will be uh, there in waves. So for example, we'll have the first effects in the Fall Creators Update. But every update we get after that will have new Fluent Design Language effects. And if you look at Windows 10, one of the things that's going to be cool is if you look at Windows 10, um, you know, two years, three years from now, and compare it with today or the first version of Windows 10 back in 2015, you'll see that it will have actually changed enough that it will be almost a different operating system. So these are a few of the little things that are interesting. Uh, you know, and slowly, slowly, another uh, interesting thing that I like is the fact that they are slowly changing the uh, Windows settings. They're adding Cortana here that separate apps are separate. There's different things that are being changed in tweaks in here and this window settings is the time to really make it right you know control panel a little cloggy a little problematic with time but I think if they can design this correctly uh, that that could be really nice you know don't expect the control panel to disappear within the fall creators update it's, it's, it's there's too many things there and it's, it's really a big job to send all of that into Windows settings but they're working they're working towards that 
And that's the interesting part about it here. They're really working towards that by slowly revamping, changing options, per, you know, uh, personalization. Everything is is being changed, uh, which is nice. Of course, <clears throat> lots of um, you know changes also in the security and behind the scenes. Uh, not we haven't seen much edge things yet, but one of the things that I am excited about is you know the new PDF annotation stuff. Uh, you can now you know not only read PDFs natively within Edge, but Edge will now, uh, you know, actually let you annotate a PDF. You will be able to fill out forms on a PDF form. Things that, you know, we always needed Adobe Reader, we always needed some third-party stuff. So these are really exciting moments where there's amazingly cool things that are happening now. And um, so, you know, these are just some of the features. You know, one of the things, of course, we've seen the leak of that new control center. We don't have that yet in our insider previews, but you know what? I can bet you we're going to have that soon. So it's another interesting part of, um, you know, uh, what's happening in the redesign of Windows 10 uh, as we're getting into, you know, slowly the fall creators update. And, you know, we're, we're still a little far away. You got to remember one thing is that, um, you know, only 18% of people have creators update for, for yet. You know, and when Fall Creators Update in September pops up, there's still going to be some people left without that update. Like right now, there's still a small percentage of people that don't have an anniversary update yet. So it's interesting to see how you know things are going. Um, one of the things that I, I I I'm not sure, and I hope it's going to change for the the, the good side. Um, of course, we've been testing the Universal Update platform within Windows 10 on these builds. Uh, as of yet, I don't find that it's a much, uh, much improved experience, and it's it's fantastic. But I don't know, all sorts of little things, you know, and uh, all sorts of uh, interesting features. Cortana, of course, being the center point of how things need to get better. Uh, new commands, new ways of doing things. Uh, you know, uh, Android. If you have an Android phone, Cortana installed on it, notifications pop up. I already see some notifications personally from uh, when my battery gets below 15% uh, on my phone, actually shows in my PC. I like that. Um, when you get a call on your phone, a notification that pops up on your Windows 10 PC, I like that. And not just that, the possibility to, from your PC, because you can't reach your phone, decline the call or send it a, a specific message or an SMS. These are all interesting features and you know it, it's showing us that slowly they're tweaking that Windows 10 operating system. And, you know, once again, I just want to say, because I get a lot of people say, well, you know, why didn't they just do that, all of it, and decide to, you know, publish Windows 10 when all is finished? Windows 10 is finished, and what I mean by that is it's a complete operating system that you're using. It's just that it is way different from the past. Windows 7 was finished, finished. They weren't adding anything to Windows 7 after it. Windows 10 as that new as a service thing. That means you're getting updates all the time. You're getting changes all the time. And that is Windows 10. It's not a question of not being finished or not. It's a question that it's a living operating system. It's evolving all the time. And you know what? I think that's the cool thing of Windows 10 also. Because even though we're staying in Windows 10 all the time, we have new features. We have new little things. Now. Some of them, you know, like in Creators Update, one of the things that I was saying is, hey, you know, uh, nobody will notice much of the changes unless you really play along with your system. Well, with the, you know, Fluent Design and everything, I hope that the Fall Creators Update will actually bring some new highlights and new stuff that people will notice once they are in the operating system. But of course, without, you know, shocking them to a point where they don't understand what they're doing. And that's also an important thing to remember. So this was my little qu quick update, I would say, to the uh, Fall Creators update, giving you a little sneak peek of uh, quickly the new features we know of that we are testing as um, in the Insider builds. And of course, as um, we go um, along, I'm, I'm thinking of probably doing a little update once a month of where we're going in the direction of the Fall Creators update. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and hope you enjoy the videos that I post. If you have any comments, questions, let us know. What would you like to see in the Fall Creators Update?